Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. There's my iPhone 4. And in case you're wondering how I'm recording this video, it is with a Samsung Galaxy S. And for some odd reason, even with a plenty of light, I'm getting some artifacts in the video, which may not be apparent, at least in the viewfinder it is. Either way, I wanted to show you my iPhone 4 screen. Well, the bad news is, is that it's scuffed up. The good news is, is that it's the matte screen protector, which is scuffed up, not the screen underneath. I bought the screen protector yesterday from at and inside a store. Uh, it's my recommendation after carrying around my iPhone with this anti-fingerprint and anti-glare protector to not buy the at and branded version of the matte screen protector. I have no idea how I got scuffed up considering I've been very careful as I usually am with my gadgets in my pocket. The only other device I had in the pocket would have been another iPhone. Uh, yes, I, I sometimes carry two, uh, or uh, carrying around uh, one of my Android devices. So, I don't know how it happened, but it certainly happened. And I'm very grateful that whatever it was, uh, was just uh, damaging the AT&T branded matte screen protector. Do not buy that. The iPhone 4, of course, I've been carrying around with any or I should say without any kind of screen protection, and it's been, for the most part, just fine. A couple of nicks and scrapes, but that happens with gadgetry. So if you have an anti-glare or matte screen protector to recommend, so long as it's not the same company that creates the AT&T matte screen protector, please, I'm all ears. Chris at Perillo.com. Of course, you're also welcome to post any kind of questions related to either the Android device that I'm using right now or specifically to um, iPhone or really any kind of question you might have. Post it to LockerGnome.net. And until next time, we'll see you later.